In this example, we're gonna consider we have a, a salesperson here, uh, Isla, where she has a base salary. So she's paid by some base salary, but she's also placed, she's paid based upon a commission uh, for selling insurance policies, right? So that's what Isla's gonna do here. So if her weekly income, we'll call it I, I for income, and if the number of new policies she sells is N, so N for number of policies, uh, her, her, her income will be determined by the number of policies, new policies that she sells each, uh, what's the time frame week, right? So she wants to sell these insurance policies. So what we know is the following. Say last week, Isla, she sold three new policies and she earned $760 for that week. So that's how much money she made. This actually gives us a data point, right? So when N was three, the I was 760. So we're thinking in the following way, right? N is our X coordinate now and I is our Y coordinate. Um, the week before that, she sold five new policies and she earned $920. So we have a different data point. When N was five, the income was 920. Now assume, and, and that, that's the only thing that determines her, her, her income here, a flat salary that she always gets and then the number of commissions, right? This is gonna be a linear, a linear model for her salary because the commission is just going to be directly proportional to the number of the number of policies she sells. And so her 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 income I of I of n here is going to look exactly like some it's going to look like some flat fee plus the some commission fee which, which I don't exactly know what that is right now. We're going to call this just m n plus B. So B, this flat fee right here, this, this flat salary, that's just her base salary, the Y intercept. If she sold nothing, how much would she make? And then the M here, the slope of the line is going to give us, it's going to tell us how much money Isla makes per policy she sells. And so you'll notice here that because we have these two data points, it's basically, we have to fit a line. We have to fit a line to two points, in which case I would find the slope using the slope formula. So the slope here, M, we're gonna take 920 minus 760 divided by five minus three. 920 uh, take away 760, that should be 160. And then five take away three is a two. And so this tells us that her commission is gonna be $80 per policy that she sells. All right, so she gets 80 bucks for every policy she sells. And then in terms of the, the y-intercept, we could solve the y-intercept or we could just use the point slope form. That's the approach I'm gonna take. We're gonna take i minus, pick your favorite point here. I'm gonna take, uh, let's do this one right here. It doesn't really matter which one you do. You're gonna take y minus 760, and this is gonna equal 80 times n minus three. That's what we're gonna get right there. And so putting this into slope-intercept form, we'll distribute the 80. This is gonna give us 80 n minus 240. And then we want to add the 760 to both sides, add 760. And so then we get that the slope intercept form would look like y equals 80 n. And then I guess it's a plus here. You're gonna get 760 take away uh, 240, which is 560. So this right here tells us, this is the, this is the function model for Isla's commission. She makes $80 per, per policy she sells. She also has a, a base salary of $560. So if we record our findings in the following way right here, we see the following. So Isla earns, she earns $80 per policy sold and has a base salary of $560 per week. That's how her that's how her paycheck is going to be determined. And we got this from interpreting our linear model here, the y intercept, the slope had significant uh, ramifications on the answer right here and we found both the slope and the y intercept by using the slope formula by using point slope form our, our way of creating a line the equation of the line given points on the line is exactly how we found this equation for Isla's income.